uh, blessings and privileges uh, of the righteous. I really want uh, you to think about this, and, and I'm not speaking of self-righteousness. Uh, the righteousness I'm talking about here is the righteousness that comes from God. The one that we seek out in God. God has uh, tremendous uh, blessings for those that will live a righteous life. Uh, those that will seek Him out, uh, those that will seek out His righteousness. So many times uh, when we speak of living a righteous life, we can hear individuals say, well, I got a wife, I have a family, I take care of them, uh, I live honestly with my wife, I got a husband, uh, we have a good family, uh, we go on vacation, we have a good neighbor, we live a good life, uh, we don't do anything wrong. And that's all good, that's good. But we need to seek out God's blessing and God's righteousness. We need to seek out God and do the things that will please God uh, to really enhance the things that we already know and the things that we are already doing. Uh, when we can live uh, such a good life amongst our neighbors and not hurt our neighbors, uh, what better uh, can it be to have God? How better it could be to have God in, in one's life? And I want to encourage that. Look at Job with me. Job 36 and verse 7. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous. God's eyes are always on the righteous. God watches us. He the fact that he's always, his eyes are always on us means that we have uh, protection always from God. It's like a parent with a little child. They do not want that child to get out of their sight. They want to always have protection over their children. And so they might go in a public place and they keep a close eye on that child. And that's how God is with us. We are in that public place, in this world. And we truly need God's guiding hands and God's eyes to always be with us, to help us through the crowd, so we do not get lost in the mix. We truly need God, every one of us, and need God's eyes to be upon us. Psalms 1. Psalms 1, I'll read, let us look at that chapter. Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Isn't that wonderful to know? The ungodly are not so. It's quite the opposite with the ungodly. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So, which way would you rather choose? God's way, or the way of the sinners? The way of the ungodly? Who should we choose here? The ungodly will not be privileged to God's blessings and His righteousness. They will not have that privilege. They are like the, the chaff. The wind drives them away. They shall be no more. The righteous, they are like a tree planted really close to that water. 
and it is moist all the time. It, it gets its food all the time and it grows and just, just increase and increase. That's the righteous in the sight of God. He takes care of us. He takes care of all those that will seek out His righteousness. Chapter 5, uh, Numbers uh, 5 of Psalms. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, will thou compass him as with a shield. God will show favor to the righteous. This is another blessing. What kind of a favor will God show? What are some of the things are we in need of in this world? You think from a child growing up, some of the things we were in need of. And then we grow to young adults. And then we start thinking like adults. We either think of the Lord, wants to put him on in baptism. We think of relationships. Can God provide in relationships? God will extend relationship with us personally. But he also knows that we need companions in this world. We need to have relationship. We need to have friendship. And can God provide that? You can see everybody smiling once they say that. But we got so many young people in here. Can God provide? Can God, will God show favor? Just imagine uh, how many people, young people, wants to have good relationship. True and honest relationship. We can first find that in God. And when we find that in God, everything else will be made available. God will show favor. It's like a child in a family, a big family. Those that have done good in the family will receive favor from the parents. They will show them the right, they will counsel them, they will help them. Whatever way they may, they may need help. That's our, our God to the righteous. I just love that verse that says that Thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. He will bless. This is what he said to Israel. Choose blessing or cursing. God promised overwhelming blessing to the children of Israel if they will be obedient to his commandments. That hasn't changed. Did you know that? It hasn't changed. In Egypt, the children of Israel, while the Egyptians were having problems in childbearing, the children of Israel, the women, they, were, they had no problem. God was blessing them. The Egyptians, they became very worried that this people would overtake them. It was God who was making them fruitful. Multiplying them. He can do the same for us today. It's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He can do for us the same as He did for Solomon. He gave that man much more than he asked for. Spiritual wisdom, but He also blessed him physically with material things. Material wealth. These are some of the privileges that we can all have from our God. And this is something we know. But there are those that really do not understand and think that this world has to provide everything. We have to do it all, all on our own. Listen to some of the shows on television. You have to be independent, they tell you. You got to do it all on your own. Yeah, you have got a husband, you got a wife, but hey, you got to take care of yourself. You cannot depend on your husband. That's not how the Word of God teaches it. 